I do have something that moves quite quickly and I'm scared that it's going to disappear. This is the first jackal sighting I've had in ages. A side striped jackal hanging out around the dam that we call Sydney's Dam. Isn't that beautiful? One of my favorite, favorite animals and we hardly ever see them. So what a special surprise this is. Quick, let's see, let's turn around. Okay, how fast can I do a U-turn? The answer to that is very fast. Because it's gonna cross into some quite thick vegetation. I know what you're after. You're after the hyena scat. I think there's a kill somewhere, or there was a kill. Okay, look at the way it runs. I don't want to scare it. And now moving behind it, it is going to get a little bit of a fright. So let's watch it move as it hurries along. Quite timid creatures, which is why it's always special to see them. They're not always timid. In certain areas, they're perfectly relaxed with people. But there's, I was just remarking to Seb, there's hyena tracks absolutely everywhere. And there's several piles of scat, including quite, um, how do I phrase this delicately, quite runny scat which usually suggests that the predator's eaten something quite rich, like a liver or, a, or kidneys, internal organs, passes through them quite quickly. And I think this jackal's been hanging out on the outskirts. It could even be something that our hyena clan killed themselves. See the way this jackal's sniffing around? Let's just see how close it's going to let us get. Oh, no, it wants us to stop there. You can see in its body language changing ever so slightly. Sniffing around. I wonder if this is one that we've seen in this area before. It's interested in something. Very powerful sense of smell. Such a beautiful creature. Basically, essentially the South African equivalent of a fox, in a way. Very similar. Little scavengers, but they'll also eat beetles, small rodents. Even in some places, hunt baby impala where they hunt together as a group. We don't see that happen all that frequently here. An animal with the eeriest cry. See, look, it's searching, sniffing. Could also be on a territorial patrol, but I don't think so. I think it's looking for something to eat. It probably heard something during the night in this area as well, Judge, judging by those hyena tracks. And it's now looking to see if there's any scraps around. We get two species of jackal. This is the side striped jackal, and that side presentation that it just gave us is a really easy, clear way of seeing why it's called a side striped jackal. I wonder if it's going to go and eat that hyena scat that's just up ahead. I'm pretty sure that's it right there. It's going straight towards it. I don't want to turn on now, I know it's getting quite far. But I just want to see if it does go and do that, or if that is beneath it at this stage. It depends on how desperately hungry it's feeling. Now oh, this one is all on its own, but David, jackal are not solitary. They're actually wonderful little creatures. Oh, okay. Just to quietly disprove my theory, let's catch up. They live together in territories in monogamous pairs. So the male and the female mate for life. and help the parents raise the next set of pups which is really lovely to see and often you get a, a family of five or six jackal wandering around oh you missed the scat no not interested just a little bit further some incredible sting on Seb's part here we go now trotting back in the opposite direction. Which way are we going to go? Are we going to come back this way or disappear? Now if you would like your question answered like David's was, you can send that through on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Here it goes. So it might be that this is a lone jackal that is hasn't yet managed to secure itself a mate. I haven't had a good chance to see if it's a male or a female. Our Canadian Emily, you want to know if jackals are related to wolves. They are. 
There's a funny story about that. I'll get onto that in a second. They are. They are part of the Canidae family. And they're quite closely related to wolves. Now, DNA studies recently have shown... Oh, where's this jackal gone? There is a species of jackal called a golden jackal. And they've recently, recently discovered basically what they, I think the title of the article was something like a jackal in wolf's clothing, or a wolf in jackal's clothing. Because they discovered that the golden jackal part, one of the, the golden jackals that they always assumed was part of the jackal family was actually far more closely related to wolves than previously thought. It was actually basically an African species of wolf. Oh, poof, well, there. Hyena, cat, ew, that's stinky. And DJ, you want to know if there are golden jackals here? There aren't, unfortunately. That's not something that we see in this area. We, they're much more sort of towards the northern parts of Africa. We only get the two species, the black-backed and the side-striped. Okay, sorry everybody, we've got to go all the way around, but it might actually be quite a good thing because we can have a look and see if there's any evidence of this um, hyena kill. I think it's a hyena kill, or they, they could have scavenged it from a leopard or something, it's hard to tell. Either way, the hyenas had a feast last night. Oh, this road's further than I thought. It's cold. Sorry, Seb. Got to go all the way around. <laughs> Watch now. When we get round, the jackal's going to be back on this road. There's a certain inevitability to that. Brrr. I'm almost jealous of Tristan while I catch up with my jackal. He at least can walk briskly to keep warm. I haven't, I'm afraid. It's, the, it's a very, very difficult animal to stick with when it doesn't want to be seen. It has completely disappeared somewhere 